Hi, I'm Jen from Tea Leaves in Tweed and welcome to another morning tea session. This morning I'm doing an unboxing of a Tea Runners subscription box. Tea Runners is a subscription service that's run by Jewel State and her husband, so those of us who are Firefly fans have a little extra reason to be interested in this tea company. However, they also focus on doing subscription boxes of curated teas from some of the finest tea sellers in the world, and they even have a level of subscription that is 100% pure teas with no flavorings, as well as an herbal caffeine-free version and a black tea and a assorted teas version that does include some flavors. So I was really excited to try their service. So they generously offered to send me this box uh, for free in order to see if I liked it and let my subscribers know what I thought of it. So let's give it an open. We'll move our teacup out of the way to start so you can see the box. It comes in this flat pack box with little straps on it. I actually really like the styling of this, even for a cardboard box. So you just give it a little snip and it opens right up. So this is the pure tea box. Everything comes wrapped in nice paper. The world's finest tea club. It's printed inside the box. And if we open our little seal, here we have our December tea box. And there's a little note to go along with the December tea box. Let's see what we have. So, first we have the Dragon Claw Oolong. This is given its name because of the claw-like unfurling of its leaves once it hits water. This rich and malty oolong continues to unfold its surprises as it steeps. Golden in hue with notes of sweet and tart apricot, it deepens to a flavorful and savory finish, much like a black tea, with a, delici to with a delicious toasted nuttiness. We're a huge fan of oolongs in general, but this one is just spectacular. This is a summer 2018 harvest, and it is from Nepal. I've never had a Nepalese oolong before. The next one is the Empress Green Tea. This is made with a mix of large green leaves and small white buds plucked in early spring. This light and elegant green tea is full of surprises. At first fresh and grassy, its notes deepen to a sweeter and nuttier finish with hints of stone fruit and roasted chestnut. Harvested April 2019, and it's from Fujian, China. This is, this is the premium Kimon black tea. Malty, chocolatey, sweet, and floral, Kimon tea is one of the most famous black teas in China. This high-grade Kimen was harvested in April 2018 in Huangshan County of Anhui Province, arguably one of the best tea-growing regions in China, and this was a particularly good year. Premium teas like this are best enjoyed on its own as milk and sugar would dilute its complexities. And it's from Anhui, China. And if you remember last week in my, or uh, in my Orwell video, he mentions that Chinese teas are not to be despised and can be enjoyed without milk, and one of the most common fine Chinese teas in Britain was Kimon tea. And finally, we have the finally we have the golden Maofang tea. 
Golden Malfong is an earthy and medium bodied black tea from China. It has a woodsy and vibrant character with sweet notes of cane sugar. Golden Malfong was, is used as the base for the award winning Majestic Earl Grey available from Tea Runners. A perfect anytime black tea, great on its own or with milk and sugar. And this is from Yunnan. So now that I have opened my Tea Runners box, I need to decide which one I would like to steep to have my morning cup of tea. I think I'm going to try the Kimun today because it's just such a classic uh, Chinese black tea that was also enjoyed in the British Empire for centuries. So I'm going to go get my water and then let's brew. So my water has come to temperature and here I have two grams of my Kimen tea, which is about one teaspoon, which is what they suggest for an eight ounce pot. And I'm brewing in this eight ounce glass pot because they actually sell these pots on their site or pots very like them. And they recommend brewing in a pot like this because it gives the tea leaves ample space to unfurl and the little spring infuser helps catch them so they don't fall into your cup. And I've got 200 degree water as they recommend. So I'm going to just pour that over my tea. And they recommend steeping this for four minutes to start. So I'm going to go ahead and steep this for four minutes and then join you back here. So now my Kimen tea has been steeping for about four minutes. It's a very delicate color. Of course, this little teapot holds a little more than what fits in a teacup, so I have a little pitcher so that I can stop the brewing for the rest of it. You can see it's definitely a black tea. It's got kind of a tawny amber color. Mmm, I can smell the malt and kind of a cereal quality. Uh, off the wet leaves. I'm going to give it a taste. Ooh, that's yummy. I remember the first time I had a tea that I knew was a Kimon tea and I just kind of didn't know what it was because it was part of a blind tasting set. It just tasted like what English breakfast tea wanted to be. And that's because of course, English breakfast tea was originally often based around Kimon teas uh, for the wealthy. And this just has that classic English black tea flavor, but it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more delicate. It doesn't have the astringency or tannin that an Assam tea has, which would lead you to perhaps add a little bit of milk and sugar to it. This definitely doesn't need it. It's got a tiny bit of its own sweetness and definitely some kind of round, juicy fruitiness. This is going to be a wonderful cup to start my day. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing and morning tea session. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you again sometime. Bye.